Hello everybody, Grandpa here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some fishing, we're going to do some exploring. We're getting out of these old crazy mines. So, I hope you enjoy us on episode 8 of Surviving with Grandma and Grandpa. So, let's get to the episode. I'll see you there. Make a fishing pole. Yep. Want well, a creeper stinking up on me while I'm fishing, so I'm gonna put some gates down. Keep that from happening so I can fish after it gets dark. If I choose to. Put some on the other side as well. I'll try my first time fishing Ooh. in a coral sea. I haven't done that before. Let's see what we can catch. We always catch a supply of fish, which we can use it to tame a cat, or we can use it for food, cook it up. It works pretty good as food. Piece of leather, lily pad, that was a piece of codfish, oh, I've got another piece of string, catch all kinds of interesting things when you're fishing. Human. Catch leather boots, fishing poles, bows and arrows, bows, not arrows. I don't think you can get arrows. Cod, bowls, kinds of neat little things. Glass bottles, name tags, something I definitely like to get. Conch shells, those are very valuable too. Enchanted books. Then you get experience donut as well. Every time you get something, you hear a ding of experience. Except I can't. We need paper to yeah, make it bigger. Stuff growing. Yeah. And I got the stuff to make it. How much bigger cane you got? There's a map. There's paper. I gotta make a crafting, uh, cartographer, uh, yeah, cartographer table. I'm always getting ready to do some exploring. Okay. One of the things we wanted to get was some maps so we weren't right. just blindly trying to find stuff. All right, so. Put this over here. I'm not going to go that far. I just need to not get lost. Well, if you keep sharing it. Got a puffer fish. We're not, they're good for potions. All right. I'm going to go walk around a little bit here. Okay. I have a couple of leads. Ooh, I just got an enchanted fishing pole. Let's see what that is. Luck of the C2 and Curse of Vanishing. 
Which curse of vanishing, as far as the two curses, isn't that bad. If you die, you lose it. It's no big deal. Curse of binding. If you equip it, you're stuck with it till you die. <laughs> But I saw some uh, acacia wood when we were exploring around a little bit earlier. I incorrectly called them Tiagra biomes. They're savannah biomes. I just misspoke. Us old people do that. Because we have so much knowledge in our mind, it just is flowing out. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to sleep so I, because I picked up my bed. Okay. I don't want to put down a bed and then pick it back up and then lose my spawn place. So, it's almost dark. No. It's getting there. I just broke that fishing pole. There's horses and sheep. You catch a really good fishing pole, it has good enchants on it. Like, look at the C3 or lower 3. Look at the C actually gives you better chances of getting treasure drops. Lower gives you chances of getting the more fish. And had luck of the C2 on it. Without a curse on it. You can just throw it in a chest and save it back so you can combine it with other poles. That one wasn't worth doing that with with that purse on it. You like the C3 with lower 3, you get more frequent catches and an up your chance of getting the good drops like the enchanted books and then other enchanted rods, enchanted bows, all that good stuff. Oh, we've got another fishing pole. This one, I'm breaking three. That's a good one. I'll keep that one. Well, that's enough fishing for today. Let's head back in, go to sleep, and get ready for our next adventure. Let's put us a barrel out here to keep our fishing treasures. We can get them separated. Look how pretty it is in here. Definitely gonna have to do something with this. We'll put a barrel there. Keep all of our fishing treasures in it so we can keep it separate from the other stuff a little bit. Let's shift all of our treasures into it. That we got from fishing. End up with a fishing pole, puffer fish, a few other items. Nothing earth changing, but it'll get better as we get better fishing poles. Let's go out and do some exploring. Let's see what we can find around this area. I want to build a village and I'd like to have it included in the mangrove and the jungle. So we get different villagers. There's no chests in any of those houses. Buildings. All right. So that was that was that. I traded with the farmer.
never know what you're going to find out there. You always got to be a little bit prepared. Got a little bit of armor now, so I don't feel so bad. It's a nice deep hole. I'll explore that later. Now I want to see if I can find a nice location. Build a village I want to build. We're in the jungle. Let's see if we can wrap around to where the mangroves and the jungle join up. Here we're coming into a little clearing. The Arcadia trees. Ah, oh, cool. There's the mangrove. This looks like a nice little area. Hmm. We have jungle. We have mangroves. We may have some savanna or plains biome as well. This might be a perfect area to build. I said hopefully I can build up a village. I definitely want to have both biomes in it. So I'd like to have the two special villagers that you don't get normally. Swamp villagers and the jungle villagers all spawning in the same village. Maybe even some savanna or whatever in there would be nice too. Yeah, this looks like a nice area. You can clear this out for a, a nice little house with a nice view. I can see a lighthouse out there. Yeah. Got a little abandoned portal over there. Yeah, I think I'll start working here. This looks like an ideal place for what I'm looking for. I'm going to cover this up, but I don't want any fire ruin and any of this beautiful wood we got around here. Normally I like to keep some lava around, but not when we got all this wood. We'll take care of that right now. Check these resources we have here. Let's make us a little clearing. Get started. See what we got here. Definitely want to end up with both, at least the jungle and the man, the swamp biomes in the same area. Yeah, there's just a benefit if we get some extra things in here. There's two type of villagers: swamp villagers and jungle villagers that don't normally spawn in the world because you don't have villages in the swamp or the jungle naturally develop. You are going to go to sleep? No. I neither. Well, let me go back to the land. Were you mining? No, I'm out in the world. You're going to get back very quick. I know. Check out the pretty sunset. All right. What's your beef here? Go ahead and make a bed since I got all these sheep around here. Oh, her is sheep. Let's go back to clearing and getting things a little set up over here.
Oop, there comes the rain. Getting really dark. How can it get dark already? Raining. Oh, shoot. Ooh, there's lightning. Creepers. Oh, husk. Which is burning up. I found a desert temple. We got creepers and spiders and everything else running around here. And a creeper. Where's the creepers at? There. There's one. Ooh, I'm getting shot at too. Skeleton somewhere. There's skeleton burning up. Oh, I got a nice big creeper hole. Almost skeleton. Let me see. Oops. Here. Back to the get his bones here. Got him. What else are we going to find? Oh, well, that's interesting. Looks like another skeleton over in the trees. A desert temple next to a savannah village? Well, that's different. Uh, I can't get too close because there must be some oh, nasties in there. <laughs> like we're both having fun. Make me a bed real quick if I can. All right. Well, I'm no, going to do write this down. Why didn't I make a bed? Well, I can put a banner on the outside of the building and not go in. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe. Now I'm just going to write it down. Get me some stone there. Fifteen. There must be a lot of bad creatures inside this building. Not sure how I'm going to develop this over here yet. Need to clear a little more out, probably. I'm not going to go in the temple. Yeah. I just put a on. banner on the outside of it. Oops, there's a skeleton. Ooh, what? what have I got here? More skeletons. And then I'm going to go over to the savannah Let's village. Let's my shield on. Whoa. Ooh, guess what I found. What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Got three horsemen. Trouble. What do you mean trouble? Three horsemen. Skeleton horse? Yeah, with riders. Oh, that's not good. I know it isn't. This scared me to death. That one time. I definitely want to get the horses, though. If I can. It's not going to be easy. I don't have a bow. Well, then I can take care of three of them. You see here. Yeah. Well, run, run, run far away. I don't want to kill them. Oh. With a horse. Get out of the... That's some leather boots. I 
fucked up one of them. I got much food though. There was just one of them and I killed the horse. When he was riding and I couldn't get him off of it. I don't have a bow. Oh well. Killed him. His helmet's all I got. I wish I wouldn't have had to kill the horsey. I wonder why there's only one. All oh, the other ones burn up. Oh, sad. Whoa, there they are. Ooh, they didn't burn up. Bad time to be running low on food. Dang it. Well, we'll go in and try to get him again. Hopefully we won't kill a horse this time. Two of them, it's hard to keep one from shooting me in the back while I'm trying to attack the other. Oh, I'm dead. Do do what? He killed me. Oh. There's all my food. So how far away were you? Not very far. Nothing to make a bow with. No armor. Where's the rest of that on food at? Well, there's some fish in there. Well, I don't have everything I want, but it's time to go try to do this again. Let's see if we can kill some of these skeletons without killing the horses. There they are. I gotta try just to hit the horsemen. I'll see if I can drag one away from the other ones. I'll make it a little easier so I don't have to battle two of them at once. Getting shot in the back don't help. Come on, little horseman. Hopefully it's just one that followed me. He's got a helmet. I'm already down to hardly no health. I'm there almost is. back there. I brought a bunch of food. This fish doesn't work too great. 
just hanging out there. I need to recover a little more. See if I can kill him by killing the horse. Wow, this fish isn't too great to eat. You try to hit the just the skeleton. These bony horses don't have a whole lot of health compared to some of the other horses. Oh, I got him. Cool, got I got him. one. Come on, horsey. Bring a lead to me. All right, the little leads are in the box. Okay, I gotta go kill this other okay. thing. I got one of the horses. I'm not anywhere. I got one of the horses. You're close to the house, right? I'm closer. To, I'm not that far from the house. I'm gonna go kill this Come other on. one. I'm pretty close. I'm I'm, not, I'm still in the water. Got him. Oh, got him. Killed both of them. I just need to bring me the two leads. Okay. Well, I see the spruce tree, so I'm almost there. 46, 63, 22, So what all you need? Food? No, I just need two leads. How about a saddle? Yeah, if you got a saddle, I'll take a saddle. Two leads. Yeah, food. I want to empty my chest. This stuff up. I got tons of stuff in here. stuff down here for me. Well, let's go find the other one. Let's get them hooked up over here. You gotta go. Just gonna put them on these two posts here. Well, I think it's a great place to end the episode. We fought the uh, three skeleton horsemen. We got two of the skeleton horses to keep. And we will continue on with the next episode. I hope everybody enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing, and Grandma and Grandpa, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.